Welcome to the Flight Sim Deck, my name is Patrick, and today we're going to talk about updating the flight management system in your simulator. First thing you'll want to do is head over to Navigraph.com, and this is what the home page looks like, and you'll need to uh, sign up for a subscription. Now, uh, it ranges in all kinds of prices for what you want to do. It's uh, a lot cheaper if you would like to update only one, uh, one cycle, or uh, if you want to do it a few times a year, or an unlimited amount of times per year you can do that. So first what you want to do is uh, go over to products and purchase subscription. You'll select where you are living and then you can come down here and see the different plans. Uh, if you want to update uh, for one of the cycles you can just get this one. That might be uh, what you want to do. I like to do this one for four cycles they do 13 cycles per year. Now, if you get four cycles, you can just update it quarterly every, every uh, let's say, three months. You can update your uh, FMS data. So, once you sign up for one of these, um, you'll want to come over to Manual Install. And you'll see they have them for just about every product uh, in the flight simulation world starting with Active Sky, uh, all the Airbus series, the PMDG, um, everything you would use. And you would just download and then you, you uh, have the file and I'll talk about how to install it in a moment. But the reason you want to do this uh, at least once a year or twice a year, if you're really serious about flight simulation, is uh, constantly airports are changing, waypoints are changing, there's new departures, new arrivals. And you want to make sure you have the latest um, data in your FMS so you can fly around properly and make sure you're going to the, the, the place you want. So once you download the, the files that you want, you'll have, uh, you'll have these. I did one for the, the PMDG and Carinado and, and Airbus. So let's install the PMDG one, for example. Uh, just open. And you'll have an EXE file. Double-click that. Then it'll begin loading. Hit next. Select your flight simulator. I'm running P3D version 3. This will make a backup of your uh, current cycle. Next. And that's all it is. It'll install it for you. You don't have to add any files yourself. It knows exactly what to do. Next time you open up your simulator, it'll be all updated. Now, while it's installing, I want to say one more thing. You can download as many of these as you want for the current cycle. So if you have, if you pay for four cycles per year, um, you can download all of these for that one cycle and only counts for one, if that makes sense. So that's a pretty good deal. It's still extracting the files. And we wait and wait. And that's it. Now the FMS is updated for all my PMDG products. And we're going to hit finish. And that is all you need to do. Well, alright guys, I'm going to leave you with that. Uh, hopefully that helps you if you're looking to update your uh, FMS. If you ever see the uh, flight management system out of date notification on there then this is where you need to come all right guys again hope that helped i'll see you on the next video take care